No, not at all. I, I, I know this. I'm, there's nobody harder on play calling than, than I am on myself. And then, uh, you know, Tom looked at it as well and said, you know, the play calls were, were there. And uh, we got to do a better job of executing those. And they were base calls, basically. But, and when I talk about execution, I'm talking about really we've got to coach those plays better. And uh, so we went back at it last night and, and worked on the fundamentals of those plays and et cetera. And, and uh, you know, we've, we'll be better at those plays. But, uh, no, I looked at every one of them, and I, I don't – I uh, I felt good with those calls. Outside, just give some, some hope in, on that fourth down play in particular. What was kind of the thought process between cutting the field in half and it's already progressed? Well, you, you know <laughs> – Play calling is, you know, everybody's, everybody's always after the play's over, why did you do this, why did you do that? And uh, what, would, what if we would have dropped back and taken a sack? Everybody would have said, why did you sprint out? And so, you know, we tried to, Peyton's a guy that can throw on the run. He's demonstrated that in practice, and he's done it in games. And, and um, you know, so uh, we were, you know, trying to get, a, uh, get semi-open with motion there, and I'm not going to get into the officiating. That's not my role. And um, but the play just didn't develop like we wanted it to. What impressed you the most about Luke Timian and kind of the dependability that you provided Peyton on? Yeah, I tell you what, Luke is a great competitor. He's a great kid. Um, just really does a great job of uh, getting open. And and then once he gets open, he's he's got great quickness. I mean, you saw that down you know near the goal line, you know, in the red zone area where he made a guy miss and. And um, he did it on third down. And so, I mean, Luke's just a guy that makes plays. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad he's on our team. What was different with, with Taser and Mac from one week to the next? Did they just take him away? Uh, no. Um, you know, well, they try to take everybody away with man coverage. So, um, you know, the, he, he, uh, he didn't have a lot of uh, balls thrown at him as much. Uh, you know, and sometimes, you know, when you're calling a play, it all depends on what hash you're on because we don't flip receivers. We keep those guys on the same side, basically. So, um, you know, he just didn't have as many attempts as, say, like Semi did. Well, um, another blitzing team. And it seems like, you know, that's the key word every week now, but uh, a blitzing team. They like to uh, really load the box up, and you know, as Tom said to you earlier, um, they like to, you know, they like to force you to throw the football over running the football. And um, you know, Coach D'Antonio uh, has done a great job there, and he's a defensive guy, and he's kept his style of defense there. And, and even though they've changed coordinators uh, a few years ago, uh, still the same style.